Okay, so you've got your land survey drawing and you've stripped it of the objects that you don't want and you want to copy those objects into your drawing and use it as a site plan, in this case for a hydraulic design. Now, you'd, I've seen many times people do a site plan, they start from the actual source file that the land survey has provided and it works poorly for you because it's not your drawing template. It doesn't have the things in it that you need to make the template work and if you try to copy those things in there you can have conflicts and errors. So it's always better to have a template, in this case I've got one over here ready to go, uh, and then copy your land survey into that. Now here's the rub though, when you do that of course the layers are whatever the land survey has got. So you can have a real mess on your hands there. So how can we get over this issue that we don't have a mess of layers that are hard to sort through? So what I do, and this is a power tip, is rename command, R-E-N-A-M-E. -E. I go to layers and I go star here and then survey dash star here, rename to, okay? Now what that's done is renamed all of the layers to have survey in them. So I'll just check a couple of things before I copy this over. I've got meters, yes, that's good. Um, I'm not co concerned about the coordinates in this situation because I am going to rotate the drawing around. Now often if you're doing a proper civil design, I would keep the coordinates that the land survey has already set. But this one doesn't really need surveying set out because it's just a internal hydraulic drainage design for sewer and stormwater. So I just copied all of those objects Sorry, I'll just do that again. I'm just going to copy all of those objects from anywhere. I don't really care in this case. Now, this is my template drawing, and I'm going to paste that into that drawing. Now, that's drawn it. It looks like it's drawn it in meters, which is good. This drawing's in millimeters. So I'll just grab all of those and scale it by a thousand. And that looks right. That looks about right. Yep, I reckon that's exactly right. So that house there is actually fitting in here on that block. So that's right. Now, what I can do, of course, now is in our layers, I've got my normal layers for my template, but I've got all of these survey ones here. So hopefully I can just grab all of these and change them to a layer. Let's do layer nine, which is shaded. And you can see that's worked pretty, pretty well. Um, I've just got to change a couple of objects to by layer. Sorry, by layer. And that's actually worked perfectly. So there's no blocks or anything in that one, obviously, that are set to something else. So that's my power tip on how to put a land survey drawing into hydraulic drawing.